we're in PEP 38349 in the East Coast Basin, but we're right down the southern end of that very large permit, and we're standing here right on the axis of a prospective structure called the Kawakawa Anticline. This is a particularly uh, large structure. It's not fully mapped out yet, but as known at the present, it runs about eight kilometres in length and uh, the core zone is two or three kilometres wide. It's a relatively shallow drill to the top of the formation. So uh, to drill this uh, structure in a vertical well, you drill through these uh, cap rocks which are exposed in the centre and then penetrate first the Waipawa black shale, which is 30 or 40 metres thick, and then 600 metres or more of the Wangai formation, which is our potential fractured reservoir. We're at the type locality for the Wife Power Black Shale that was seen in the other permit through Gisborne area and it continues all the way further south. The rock here, the Wife Power Black Shale, is about 30 metres in thickness through about this way, dipping quite steeply. The rock is uh, quite yellowish on the surface. When you break it open, you can see it's quite chocolatey brown in colour. And the yellow is just the weathering surface of it. It's got a distinct oily smell to it. As you can see, it's highly fractured, so as well as being a potential source rock, it also can be considered as a reservoir. We're still in the centre of this large, very large Hawke's Bay permit, PEP 38349, and we're standing in front of a magnificent outcrop of the Wangai Formation, which is, of course, one of our uh, source rock formations as well as the fractured reservoir. What's really well shown here is the extent of the fracturing in the formation. Firstly, there's a very prominent and closely spaced uh, fracturing, which is parallel to the original sedimentary layering, but then running through the outcrop at various angles through here, uh, upwards of uh, five or six different fracture planes and they all intersect so that they're all interconnected so any oil or gas which develops can flow between uh, the gaps in the formation through the fractures and uh, when we eventually drill into it into the uh, oil bore pipe so that this shows so well the, the multiple fracture pattern of the Wangai formation. We're now in the southern part of PEP 38349 in the East Coast Basin and we're at a locality known as Westcott. We have a, an outcrop of the formation which was in the cutting uh, right down here in the stream. Now one very significant thing about this oil locality is that the oil has been analysed and been shown rather conclusively to have been sourced from the Waipawa Black Shale which is the source rock that occurs all the way through this basin and, uh, and especially in this, this permit. So I'll just grab a bit of the formation here and we can uh, have a good look at it. It's a very porous sand and it has a very, very strong oily smell to it. Uh, very clear oil. The outcrop itself is actually just seeping oil rather gently too. We put a piece of this sandstone in the water, we get a magnificent oil film coming from the thin, volatile crude oil 